Hi guys, I know, right? I know I missed us on sharing some very recent happenings in Nigeria, Nigerian politics. I apologize. Recent happenings like Pastor Tunde Bakari calling on the president to key corruption. The president, even though you have announced some palliatives, let me remind you that palliatives cannot address the root cause of the problem. Therefore, we demand that you address the root cause of the problem. Take the yoke off the neck of the poor, go after the looters, recover the loot, and retool it to the benefit of Nigerians. In simple terms, Mr. President, kill corruption, no Nigerians. I'm sure you already know the details of that story, so I'm just going to leave all that and just focus on what I have to share with you guys today. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, thank you for stopping by. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back to view my videos. Please do not leave until you are fully subscribed to my YouTube channel. Like, share, do not forget to give this video a big new thumbs up just before you leave. And please endeavor to watch this video to the end. So guys, let's get into all the stories that trended and made headways in Nigeria. And also take a trip to the Nigeria Republic to know what the situation is like. So first of all, guys, the president has finally released the portfolio of 45 ministers who were earlier on screened by the Senate and approved for the ministerial position. And as for these 45 ministers, former governor of River State, Mr. Yin Sumike, is now the FCT minister and also the minister for aviation went to Mr. Festus Kiyamu. Now guys, a lot of Nigerians have reacted to these key positions. In fact, they've reacted to these ministerial portfolios. How can this government appoint Dene Alaki as minister of petroleum? I mean, yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. You should be information. Yes. Do you know the implication? I'm saying that most of these people who are given some key ministries to manage are not technically fit. To manage such ministry. Example is Mr. Festus Kiyamu. Mr. Festus Kiyamu is a lawyer, he's a son, and he really does not have any experience in the aviation sector. So, how is he going to manage that sector very well, especially when there is a technical issue, there is a technical concern? And also for the minister of FCT, most Nigerians felt that that position was given to. Mr. Yin Sumike on just, you know what, a compensation. The other concerns most Nigerians had was the fact that this key position, being the minister of FCT, went to a southerner instead of a northerner. However, guys, there have been a recent development from these ministerial portfolios that was released last week Wednesday. There has been some reshuffling of some people and some key positions. Please feel free to leave your thoughts with me. In the comment section, share with me what you think about the ministerial portfolio and also the shuffling within various ministries. Now, away from that, let's take a trip down to the Nigerian Republic and know the situation of what's happening in the Nigerian Republic. So, guys, in the Nigerian Republic, the leader of the military junta has come out to say that power will be handed back to the civilian government in the next three years however they've also said that the democratic elected president who was overthrown wouldn't be harmed for them promising not to harm the democratically elected president i feel it's a good one one step at a time right well all this was said during a mediation meeting between ECOWAS delegates and the military junta's in Niji republic although these military junta's are ready to attack if ECOWAS implements the use of force, but they are also saying that there is also room for negotiation. Now, away from Niger Republic, let's come down to Nigeria. But this time, let's talk about the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and Naira Mali. And then the video, the video of Naira Mali that surfaced of him, Naira Mali, being in the headquarters of NDLA. He was reading some stuff and just encouraging youth disease from substance abuse that's in that video guys in my head the thing that came to my head was is normally not the ambassador or the poster boy for ndlea well the ndlea has come out to say that normally is not the ambassador he was just they were just using his platform to encourage you to desist from the use of substance abuse. Now, what came to my head, because it got Nigerians talking for an agency like that, that it's 
anti-drug use and you bringing Naramali into the picture, it seems like a slap on that agency because Naramali is a substance user. If you follow his music videos, if you follow him on social media, he does this thing proudly, openly, and unashamed. And now you are bringing him to come and be a, to come and talk to youth, not to use substance, not to use drugs. It's a bad representation of NDLEA. Please feel free to share with me your thoughts on this issue between Naramali and the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency in Nigeria in the comment section. So guys, on that funny note, we've come to the end of today's video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed up to this point. Like, share my video, and of course, you don't forget to give this video a big you thumbs up. Giving this video a you thumbs up helps the YouTube algorithm recommend this video to a larger audience. The highest like I've gotten from any of my video is five. Guys, please, I'm begging, edge up, please like this video recommend my channel to as many people as you can and until i come away again next time with more happenings from nigeria and outside nigeria stay true to yourself and remember it's always love for me bye guys